guys and welcome back to the channel um, as you can see in the title today I'm gonna to be talking about um, how not to cheat basically uh, this kind of ties into my relationship tips that I did in the other video but um, this is more directed towards not like cheating obviously for boys especially yeah, a lot of black like, boys tend to do more madnesses than girls isn't it? Like, in terms of like sexual partners and that. But to be honest, yeah, girls are actually thoughts as well, so I don't even know. Not all girls are thoughts. I'm not saying some select young women are thoughts. Yeah. If you're new in a relationship or you're not trying to stop doing bad madnesses, then yeah, this is this is the video for you to watch. Yeah, let's get to it, man. Um, yeah, when I first like started going out properly like proper long term was with a leon that was my first proper like long term one and in the first like what month yeah we started going out in august in september by september i had up. I, had I had really read it i had really written myself off yeah basically it was my boy's birthday party events yeah my nigga events but um, yeah, I think it was like his 18th birthday party. He had a house party in the Black Heath side. Uh, so been, I'm in the party now, I've been there for a while, finished. These times I'm 18, so obviously yeah, I'm not used to this drink of life, this drunk and everything. So I'm finished. Fin I don't even drink that much in general, like, but I was finished. When I say I was seeing Pluto, my eyes were on boy it was mad it was mad so obviously i'm 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 not in the current state of mind to know what i'm doing start because obviously my chocolate sauce in it so girl them started coming getting a wine here getting a wine there everywhere in it so obviously i am yet leah's not there i fell off yeah i fell off then two two <laughs> <coughs> yeah, two twos now, I'm doing my thing. And then the girl I'm doing the girl I'm winding with just goes down. I'm thinking, rah. I look up. Is Aaliyah? I'm thinking, rah! Like, I'm better correcting myself. Trying to get, trying to get sober and that and that. Like I'm thinking, rah. Yeah, she dragged down the girl now, and then like she leaves her, and then just like me and her go and talk, and then like literally ten minutes later, I was on a wall chilling by myself, just chilling with like no, I had like two two of my guys from college. Um, I that like, yeah, two of my guys from college there, all like lined up on the wall. Next minute, some like all that like, three girls come on each of us. We're doing our thing on the wall, yeah, 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 and then, bow! I see one fist flying. I'm thinking, damn! Like you know when stuff's happening and you it doesn't really registered in your head. Like Aaliyah's coming now, bang the girl to the floor. The girl's gone down one time. And then she's just going, bow, bow, bow. Like, I've never seen girls fight like this in my life. It wasn't a fight, it was just an attack. It was an attack, basically. And, um, what was it? Yeah, it was mad. Like, I didn't, I didn't even deep what happened until I got home, because I was that yet. Like, it was mad. But um, from that day, like, I said to myself, I can't do this no more. Cause that's the way she, like for her to do that. She's as you can see, Ali is like the kindest person ever. So for her to do that, it was mad. It was mad. But um, yeah, there's like a couple of tips. I also I, when you go to uni, it's a lot harder. So when I went to uni from college, now I'm seeing thoughts, thought there, thought there, galley everywhere. But there was girls everywhere and they're all active. I don't know why when girls don't go to uni, they like to get a bit active. They like to get active. But um 
Yeah, so uni was like a massive temptation, especially coming out of college, where I was before Leo. College was, was, was lit, basically, yeah, college was lit. So, going in, you know, I'm seeing, I'm seeing even more, what should I say, experiences, yeah, even more experiences. So I have to just like pattern myself. So basically, first year I enjoyed, I can't lie. First year I enjoyed, but there was a lot of times where I could have got into sticky situations, innit? So first year I enjoyed, second year, after that, I just started like going out less. Uh, if I did go out, I would just like stick to dark. I like dancing, I like vibes. And so when I go out cl like clubbing or raves or whatever, yeah, I just like to dance vibes, yak, whatever. I don't really care about moving to girls. Even before I, I started, actually no, I, I, that's a lie. I was wine central. But no, like, you, it's not even things where you have to do. There's things that happen as you go along. The relationship that makes you stop getting, getting into situations where you could cheat in it. Like, when you have a girl at home, there's no need for you to really go to the club and have to put in all that effort just to go and draw one dead team. Like you got a queen at home where you're putting in effort to put on shoes, get money out the bank, buy bottles, do whatever you do, just to go and draw one club dead team. Now it doesn't really make much sense to me, so clubbing in general wasn't really that deep to me because when I go clubbing, obviously everyone's everyone all of my old boys are single, so they're all going out to be savages and that. And then they all end up leaving me in one corner. I'd just be there doing my own, I was on tour by myself. Everyone else would be in sabs, isn't it? So because of that, I stopped going out less. So I'm, I'm going out less, less chance of me doing the mad thing. Um, what else? Yeah, another thing that I did to stop myself getting into those kind of situations is basically just stop talking to, I think I stopped talking to hella girls, you know? Like, with, I think now I only talk to like one that my girl knows. Ah, I sound like a whipped you. But yeah, I, I just stopped talking to girls. Like not not that like, like in that way, I mean not like completely just stopped talking to females, but in that way. I limited the amount of girls I talk to. The ones that I do talk to, I make sure Leah knows them. Um Yeah man, that like, it is hard. That like, trying at the start is hard, not doing nothing with other girls, not cheating, not doing nothing. But as time goes on, it gets it gets light work, kind of like. Like now, I don't really. Like, like now, I got my wife, or well, going to be my wife. I don't really care about girl them. Can't even lie to you. I don't. I don't care. I do. Besides, nah, I don't. I don't really care. I just like girls that are Leah's friends that I like because then I could chat to them without worrying about oh, is she going to think I'm doing this? No, because they're your friends. What am I going to do, pay me a friend? No, 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 but yeah, like the main things I can say are if you don't want to cheat, don't get a girl unless you're ready to limit your exposure to females limit your exposure to going out where there's going to be like not bare female, but where there's gonna be a chance of you doing a mad thing. Like if you know there's gonna be a motive where there's hella, hella, hella slags, don't go to the motive, simple. Like obviously we're, like in London, there's a lot of motives, where there's a lot of slags. So don't go to the motive. Stay at home, watch cereal, eat cereal, eat pando, yang, and everything. Just, look, just stay home, you know? Um, yeah, so. Uh, don't go out as much. Limit your connect. Limit your talking to girls. Stay at home with a girl more. But it's mostly just a building thing. As you get, as you build together, and you, and your relationship gets stronger, the girl then will just flow away, fly, flying away. But I don't know why. Yeah. When you're in a relationship, girl them will start bubbling to you. They'll actually just start coming to you. Like, I remember my, my first day in uni again. Yeah. Actually, I might say this for you from my uni experience. But, um, yeah, like, 
uni is hard when it comes to being faithful, especially if a girl doesn't go to the same university as you. Like I went to a college university. She, Aaliyah went to another one, you yeah. know. So, and her one was was like in London. Mine was in Coventry, obviously Coventry. So it was like we we didn't really see each other that much. Maybe when it's half term or something, we'll see each other or, or like a couple weekends here or there. But it wasn't really. It was mad. And, uh, we went from seeing each other every single day to nearly not at all. And then I have to think about uh, man's roasting. Imagine in uni you're roasting, yeah. And I'm just I can't do bang all. But obviously I know at the end of the day when she comes, that's my babes, isn't it? So you just got you just gotta pick and choose, you gotta be strong and eventually it just gets it gets like light work, it gets easier. But um, if you want any tips, more tips, just come and chat to me. Sneak into my DMs, anything you want to do. But yeah, hope to enjoy the video. Let me get a like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Turn up, guys. Tills. I don't want to hear no words. I don't want to talk it. I don't want to talk about the ins and outs, but in my bank, more money. If you're a boy, girl, you like luxury items, watches, clothes, bags that charge your phone, uh, anything really, um, check out Colby's luxury brand. Um, got this watch from there. They have a lot of good items on there that are luxury, but also affordable. You want a discount? Use this code, it's going to be right there. Lenny and Nalia, as I said, I'll put the website in the description for your watches. So yeah, check out Kobe.